Welcome back to Vital Signs. We are here talking all things brain health with Dr. Greg Eckel. And before the break, he gave us vital success um, habits for us. It's sleep. Let's make sure we're getting sleep more than six hours. Let's get those Z's. It's hydration. Make sure that we're hydrating our bodies. It is movement. Get off of our duffs and move. I don't care if it's turning your favorite tunes on and dancing like no one's looking. Let's move our bodies. That's what we need for health physically and especially for brain health. And we left with doing the four uh, corners of the grocery store and eating whole foods, getting rid of all of the processed foods so that we can really optimize our body. And so Dr. Greg, talk to me about this nutritional protocol and, and let's just keep that conversation going. You know, so I have a lot of folks coming to see us in Park City. They fly in from around the globe for brain regeneration and in particular Parkinson's. And everybody asks me, Dr. Greg, what should I eat? <laughs> Um, so much so that I actually created a little reluctantly because I was a librarian in the naturopathic school looking at all of the nutritional books through all of time. And, you know, we cannot make a macronutrient evil. Like you had mentioned, like the fat free diet, there's no carbs, there's, you know, high protein, you know, we, we, we have macronutrients, it's fat, it's protein and carbohydrate vegetables. We can't, we need all of those for our health. So I solidified it and codified it in the Eckel diet. There's three phases of this diet because we want to meet people where you yeah. are. And it's got to be easy. I want it to be easy. I'm a Gen Xer. I want it to be easy. Give me the, give me the thing and I will follow it as long as it gets me results. So the Eckel diet, 25 years time tested. We've got three phases of it. I gave you the basics of it. Now that's going to be coming out in my book called Defying Parkinson's. It's my second book. I wrote my first book six years ago. It's called Shaking Off an Integrative Approach to Parkinson's Solutions. In these six years, we've learned quite a bit on how to manage folks. I will share a little tidbit in phase two. If people aren't tuned into the continuous glucose monitors, the devices that you can put on, I wear these on myself one to three months a year, depending on how far off the track I am. Mm -hmm. And it is, have you ever tried one of those? I haven't worn one. They are so good. I've had people, um, I've had patients come out of diabetes on them because they're able to walk by the cookie jar because they know what the app is gonna tell them. Like, hey, that just spiked your blood glucose. So it measures your sugars 24 seven. If your sugars are out of control, you don't qualify for coming out to brain camp using my echo protocol to regenerate brain. So this is for folks with pathology. So you gotta get sugars under control. That goes into that diet. That's phase two of the echo diet. You don't start with that, right? We wanna start with you know, getting the seed oils out, making sure your macronutrients are proper, um, you know, educating about the choices you're making with, in, you know, with your dollars and with your mouth and what that impact is having on your health and in particular your brain health. So you can't be spiking blood glucose because that leads to insulin, which then leads to inflammation. Mm -hmm. That leads to degradation and further into neurodegeneration. Well, it's not like any other, it's not unlike any other disease process. When we have our blood sugar out of control, that's what, that's what causes di that's diabetes. It also is a, a a factor in cardiovascular disease and and now we're talking about brain health as well so surprise folks sugar's not, not the solution for right us. right <laughs> i know surprise surprise so um all of that then the echo diet fits right into the echo protocol where the people come out for a week-long program and we're using the future of medicine is frequency sound and light we do a laser activated and guided intranasal stem cell procedure uh, yeah, I did say that. It sounds like science fiction. In it also sounds painful. No. Intranasal. <laughs> intranasal. So one of the things that COVID did for us was if you ever got that COVID test where it felt like they're pulling half of your brain out, um, this is nothing like that. And it's a flexible <laughs> catheter. Uh, there's no downtime with it. No downtime with it. 
Um, we do that, we, we use your intentions, we put sound frequencies around the body, we put people into a heart and brain coherent state mm. before they come into the procedure room, which is parasympathetic, which is how your body heals. It's rest and regeneration. So we get you into a very calm environment, put you into the chair, we get you to put your intentions into the cells, we activate your cells and then we put them back into you. Wow. That sounds like a lot. And you do that for an entire week. We do that for a week. So you get two of those procedures. We have hyperbarics, mm. we have IV therapy, we have a light bed that we can take a voice scan of your voice, measuring the biofield, uh, which you'll be hearing more and more about bioenergetic medicine. It's really bringing a quantum understanding of reality into clinical encounters. And I think that is the secret to our sauce is we're taking time out of the equation. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, that's that's kind of the fountain of youth, right? You're, you're finding the fountain of youth. And folks, you haven't heard a lot of these terms because guess what? We didn't have a lot of the equipment. We didn't have the capacity to learn about some of these things. And technology and medicine has advanced so rapidly over the past, really 20, 25 years, but accelerated at an accelerated path path in what the last five ten years the last five to eight years really yeah. so I started practice in 2001 and it, it we're right at that hockey stick mm -hmm. we're right at it so that, that what that term is is don't die like right now you there is so many things in the pipeline that is coming the the longevity conferences that I'm at that I lecture at we are discussing I mean there is just phenomenal things from skin scrapings, stem cells, growing full organs in the lab. This is happening today. It's not science fiction, folks. I mean, I'm in there, I've been in several conferences. I do a lot in medical technology and emerging technologies and artificial intelligence with these emerging yeah. technologies. And you know, it's really, really, it's exciting. It's an exciting time. So if you're scared by some of the big words, don't be. What Dr. Greg is saying is, listen, there has never been a better time to be alive because yes, we've been fed a lot of malarkey about what we should be fueling our bodies with, but now is the time that we can take control of that back. And so Dr. Greg, how can people um, reach out to you? How can they learn more about some of what you're doing in this brain regeneration and really this longevity space? If they're sitting there watching, they're like, hmm, some of this sounds science fiction-y. I want to kind of research a little bit For more. For sure. So energy, the number four, lifecenters.com. I know that's a mouthful. energy for lifecenterscom uh, Also brainregen.com. That one is coming online. That's specifically about the brain health, the research that we're putting out on Parkinson's reversal. That'll also be on Alzheimer's, dementia prevention and reversal. Traumatic brain injuries is also in that camp. All things brain regeneration. Mm -hmm. I also have a podcast, Brain Regen Podcast. So Dr. Eckel, Brain Regen, and I'll come right up. That's fantastic. I strongly recommend if you are watching the show and you want to learn more, check out his podcast, check out his website, because if we're not leveraging the technologies and the knowledge that we're now coming into awareness of, we're going to miss the boat on that health span that we were talking about. So Dr. Greg, with everything that we've talked about today, um, if, if people could take one key thing away and you want them to do this today and not wait, what would it be? Mm. I, so the key thing today is have gratitude for the miracle of life. I mean, these bodies that we have been given and we inhabit are magnificent. They're miraculous. Have gratitude for the sun, for the stars, for this planet, this home, for your family. Look them in the eyes, give them hugs. We don't know how long we are here on the planet. Don't take it for granted and live every day as if it's your last. You know what, I love that because so many people say you only live once, but the reality is we, we only die once. Mm -hmm. We live every single day. Right. And that attitude of gratitude is so incredibly important. Can we just, can I ask just one more thing around that? Because um, I'm a big fan of mind over medicine mm -hmm. and that we are designed uniquely to heal ourselves and the power of the mind is great. When we instill that intentionality and that attitude of gratitude, what does that do along our regenerative process? Is that have any foundation you are giving me chills uh, <laughs> so this is this is the key you know we have not been taught how truly powerful we are and we definitely have to heal our traumas and our wounds and we have to get into 
this component of having um, having ourselves in that gratitude space that opens up our reality to our frontal lobe and allows that love and that connection in. Mm -hmm. that, that runs the system. That is the key to the mystery. I love it. Thank you so much for your expertise today. I really appreciate you joining me today. Thank you. And you, yes, you, unfortunately, all good things do come to an end, including this show, but you've got action steps. Embrace that attitude of gratitude. Express your gratitude to the people around you. Share that love and heal thyself. Reach out to Dr. Greg. He is a wealth of knowledge. Check out his podcast. But un until then, today's the day we take action. Not tomorrow and not, not next week, because today is the day that we can move forward and take control of our greatest asset, our health. Until we meet again, we'll be here same time, same station next week. Have an amazing rest of your day. This has been a Now Media Network's feature presentation. All rights reserved. <laughs>